Oh, it's the honorary night in Noel. Can I get you a drink? A non-alcoholic drink, of course. Oh, no need. We didn't come here to drink. I wanted to ask if, um, if there's been anyone causing any trouble in the tavern lately. Troublemakers? Hmm. Let me think. Actually, there was one. Oh, really? It's that guy drinking at the table over there. Payne. He keeps ordering refills of our strongest drink, Death Afternoon. Look how he's wobbling. If he passes out drunk, that could spell trouble. Yes, that certainly sounds like a lot of trouble, although that's not quite what I was asking about. Um, is there anything in the tavern that has been out of the ordinary lately? Out of the ordinary? Hmm, let me think. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. There are still some empty glasses on the tables upstairs that need clearing away. Must have been left there by the customers this morning. But I am busy with the accounts at the moment. And if I can't find time to clear the tables before the evening crowd arrives, things could get difficult. Really? Well, that sounds truly terrible. Maybe I can help? Oh! Sorry. I couldn't help myself. Ahem. Mr. Charles, what I was really trying to ask was... Oh, I know. You wanted to know if you could help out, right? Surely that would be asking too much. I have yet to thank you properly for helping us move those kegs last time. And here you are offering to help again. I couldn't accept your offer in good conscience. Uh, that being said, we are quite overwhelmed right now. So if it's all the same to you, ma'am, uh, would you mind serving the customers for a while? Um, um, oh, okay then. It, it seems you are in great need of assistance. Oh, thanks a million. I'll leave you to serve the customers then. Start by taking this death afternoon to pain, and then maybe you can clear the tables on the second floor? Thanks. I'll leave the tavern in your capable hands. Wow. So this is what happens when I try to go with the flow. It appears that Captain Kaya's way with words does not come the most naturally to me. But... but waitressing in the tavern should be a good means of gathering intel, right? It's quite a common motif in the books I've read. I just need to keep my eyes and ears open while I'm helping Charles with the tavern duties. Excuse me, Payne. Here is the drink you ordered. <laughs> what? What's that? Oh, yeah, put it to the side. I think I need to sober up. <sighs> this drink is strong. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Mr. Payne, are you all right? Do you need to take a rest? Hmm, let me think. If I'm not mistaken, Captain Kaya would first get his subject drunk before asking them any questions. This appears to be true. We must find another approach. Hmm, Captain Kaya would probably appear cordial and sincere as a means to convince his subject to lower their guard, would he not? One must start by focusing on the person's individual circumstances and communicate a complete willingness to help, then slowly move the conversation in the desired direction. Ooh, but how can I offer to help Mr. Payne right here and now? Oh, I've got it! Perhaps the dried fruits that I prepared for my exam could help him to sober up. Ahem, <clears throat> Mr. Payne? Please eat this. It will make you feel better. Oh, what's this? Oh, it tastes sweet and sour. Mm. Ooh, woof. I, I do feel slightly better now. Oh, you're uh, Noel, isn't it? 
And next to you is, uh... Uh, Mr. Payne? Are you feeling any better? Is there anything you wish to tell me? Next to you is, uh... Ah! It's the deaf afternoon that I order. Yes! <laughs> Did you bring this to my table? Oh, thanks, Noel. <laughs> this drink. This drink is so strong. Mr. Payne? Mr. Payne? How can this be? Drinking like this is disastrous for one's health. Hmm, perhaps. Although, maybe it would be easier if there were a few more customers. Uh. Oh! Mr. Charles also asked me to clear the tables on the second floor. If the second floor is filled with customers, perhaps I'll have the opportunity to overhear a thing or two. Oh, it's such a mess. I must clear everything away quickly so that we can serve more customers. So many stains. Oh, once the tables are clear, they'll need to be washed with a good detergent. Whew. Finally, all clear. Let's go check in with Charles. Mr. Charles, everything has been dealt with. Is there anything else you need help with? Wow, already? Uh, the customer at the table by the window just ordered a couple of things. Would you mind taking care of them? Okay, leave it all to me. Huh, with Noel here, the tavern feels livelier than ever. Phew, it's not easy working at a tavern. But, at least it's over now. Well done to you, too! Oh, uh, Intel. No! I got so caught up with working that I completely forgot we were here to gather Intel. What should I do? There are hardly any customers left that I could talk to. Oh, am I so incapable of handling even a simple task like this? Ah, <sighs> thanks for all your help today, Noel. I've been a bartender here for more than a decade, and I've never seen a happier crowd of drinkers than the ones who are here tonight. I can only assume that with you serving the customers, the wine tasted all the sweeter. I'm quite sure that can't be true. I didn't do anything particularly special. Customers don't come here purely for the drinks. They come for what the drink represents. Some time to relax after a long day of work. Often customers choose this tavern not just for the quality of the drinks we serve, but also for the great atmosphere. You may not have brewed the wine or even mixed the drinks, but for many customers, service with a smile is what makes the difference between a glass of wine and a great night out. It seems this tavern could do with more than just a single bartender. What we need is some proper waiting staff to really take care of the customers. Perhaps I could convince the boss to hire a server. Anyway, I digress. Thanks again for all your help tonight. Wow. I'm so glad to know I made everyone so happy. Yes. Even though I failed to imitate Captain Kaya, it looks like I was still able to help those in need. Yes, I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Ahem. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I sense that it's probably not the best moment. However, could I ask for one last little favor? Drinking to make merry is all well and good, 
But passing out drunk in my tavern? That's a pain. <sighs> pain ordered two more deaths after noon over the course of the night. Whenever I remember that feeling of disappointment, I stop being able to think about what kind of knight I could become. Uh, Master Jean? How could I ever become someone great like her? Master Jean is a pillar of the Knights of Favonius, and a great source of inspiration to me. If I could gain even one or two of her qualities, I would be very happy. But the thought of becoming a knight just like her in every way? Oh, I could never achieve that. You think so? I suppose if the goal is set so high that I couldn't hope to achieve it immediately, I won't be too disappointed day to day. But where to start? I can't imagine what I would need to do to become more like Master Jean. Oh, that's true. Master Jean is always lending a hand to citizens in need. So strong, but so gentle too. I still don't think I can do what Master Jean does, but at least I could start by trying to be gentle like her. Okay, then let's head back to Mondstadt and see if anyone needs help. I'm sorry, Marjorie. I was focused solely on chatting with Quinn. I didn't see anything else at all. If you're out of other options, maybe you could get help from the Knights? I'm sure if Master Jean heard about it, she'd help you find it in no time. Thanks. I'll check with a few more people first. If no one has seen it, then I guess I'll just have to ask the Knights. Alright, well, I hope it turns up soon. Bye now. <sighs> Maybe I should just tell the Knights already. Miss Marjorie, are you in need of assistance? Oh, Noel. Since you asked, I seem to have misplaced a monocle that I imported from Sumeru. I was organizing the stock that had just arrived, and because the monocle was so fragile, I took it out, wiped it, and put it aside. But then, I went to get it after I was done with the stock, and it was gone. I've asked around, but no one seems to have any idea where it could be. Anything like this? Well, it's not completely unheard of. You know my store, there are all sorts of exotic items. In the past, I've lost a carved wooden perch and some boneware, but as soon as I reported them missing to the knights, they were recovered right away. May I ask, where were the missing items recovered from? Oh, the wooden perch was mistaken for a real fish by Margaret's cat, and as for the boneware... They eventually found that in a dog kennel somewhere outside the city. Oh no, we mustn't increase Jean's workload any further. Master Jean's time should be spent on more important things. Miss Marjorie, would you mind letting me help you find the missing monocle? I may not be as efficient as Master Jean, but I will do my very best to help you find it. Oh, of course that's okay. But isn't asking Noel the same thing as asking the knights? Uh, I'd better gather some more information before heading out. As well as confirming some details regarding the monocle itself, we should find out as much as possible from Marjorie about the circumstances under which it went missing. So, do you have some ideas on where to start? Ask me whatever you want to know. I'll answer to the best of my memory. A missing item. Well, it's a monocle to start with. And since it came from Sumeru, the design should be fairly recognizable. 
As for other distinguishing features, it's very light and it's very small. Hmm. I had my head down and I was busy working through the stock. I didn't see anything that was going on around me. But the street is so busy that surely someone would have noticed if it had been stolen. Oh, now that you mention it, I do remember hearing some kind of flapping sound. The sound went as soon as it came, and I was focused on checking if anyone had seen anything, so I didn't give it too much thought at the time. Do you think it could be connected? Hmm... I first heard it behind me, and then it seemed to fade out in a northwesterly direction. Now I wish I'd followed the sound and spoken to people along the way. Honorary Knight! Shall we go ahead in that direction and make some inquiries? Maybe we'll find some clues. Excuse me, Glory. Have you heard anything that might be described as a flapping sound in this area recently? Marjorie's monocle has gone missing from her shop. We're trying to look for clues. Um... Flapping sound? Yes, I think so. I believe it was the sound of a finch flapping its wings. It sounded a lot heavier today than usual. As if it was carrying something. So... Maybe the finch took the monocle back to its nest. Well, I've seen their nests in the past on occasion, while I'm cleaning the roof. What do you say we have a look, Traveler? Finally, we have a lead to go on. Thank you, Glory. You're welcome. May you swiftly recover the lost item by the grace of the Animo Archon. Hmm, no. It doesn't seem to be here. must be Miss Marjorie's missing monocle. Let's take it back to her right away. I hope we haven't kept her waiting too long. Miss Marjorie? Here! We found your monocle! Wow, you were so quick! How wonderful! I thought I wouldn't be hearing back for a few days yet. Sure. In the past when I've lost something and asked the knights for help, it can take them a while to get around to it. After all, the knights have all sorts of things that they're busy with, big and small. No matter how capable Jean might be, she can't be in two places at once, can she? Thanks to you, Noel, we don't have to trouble the knights with every little thing that comes up. <laughs> now that I think about it, Noelle is basically like another Jean. In that sense, it really does feel like Jean can be in two places at once. No, surely you can't be serious. How can I compare to Master Jean? I can only help people with small things. Like finding lost property. <laughs> Whether it's big or small, it's all the same to us. Things we can't handle by ourselves. Noelle, once you've qualified as an official knight, Will that mean you don't have time to help us anymore? I, for one, am going to miss you. No, not at all. If I do become a knight in the future, I will continue to help everyone with their problems. I was just kidding. Keep up the good work, Noelle. I'm sure everyone in Mondstadt can't wait to see the kind of knight you become. I... I will keep working hard. Thanks again. <sighs> I suppose I should put this in a secure place this time. The kind of night that I become. <sighs> oh, do, do I? 
Um, yes. Maybe it's because I'm not afraid anymore. I've never dared to imagine myself as a knight before. I always feared that the higher my expectations, the more disappointed I'll be if I don't live up to them. But let's say I do become a knight in the future. Maybe... Maybe I will simply continue to do the same things that I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter to me how small these things are or how tiring. I do these things not because I'm a maid, but because of my own will. Yes, there's no need to become someone else, nor worry about failing. As long as I perform better in my next exam than in my previous one, then one day, I will become a knight that I can be proud of.